Every year in the spring, we come to Brookfield to collect walleye for our statewide walleye stocking program. Annually, we have a goal of about 30 to 35 million eggs. If we have 30 or 35 million, we're able to fulfill all our stocking needs throughout the state. The crews will go out at six o'clock. They'll um, set eight gill nets that are five feet deep. Uh, I think it's, the mesh is about an inch and a quarter, um, and they're about 200 feet long. Uh, gill nets are, they're set about 10 feet from the bank uh, and about six to eight feet of water. And the idea is that as the fish come in at night to spawn, they'll run into these gill nets and they'll be entangled through either their teeth or their gill flaps, or opercles. Then the net crew will go out around 11 o'clock that evening, run the nets, reset the nets, bring those fish back. Yeah, piece of the mouth. That's a male. And then they'll get a couple of hours of sleep and then go back out about six in the morning again, run the nets, collect the fish, and bring the nets in with them. Uh, once the eggs are back at the uh, facility, we go through, uh, pick out the right females. They'll be placed in a, in a tub with CO2, which kind of relaxes the fish so that we're able to handle them without squirming around too much. Um, we, we generally take two or three females per pan. Uh, we we squeeze the, manually squeeze the eggs right out. When the fish is ripe, the eggs flow easily right out of the fish. So um, we two, two or three females and then usually two or three males we collect uh, the milk from two or three males to add to the eggs. Uh, we keep everything dry as we do this. The fish themselves we dry off because the, uh, the egg and sperm aren't activated until the, they hit water. So we have a window of about 40 to seconds to a minute for the fertilization to take place. Uh, once that happens, they sit in a Tupperware container for about a minute. We add a uh, fuller's earth, which is a real fine clay material to that to the eggs and sperm, uh, which keeps the eggs from sticking to each other. Rinse the eggs, put them in a hardening tray, which is uh, just a flat uh, structure that uh, allows oxygen to the egg. Uh, after about four hours, they're tough enough to be handled with a scoop, and that's when we place them in the uh, McDonald jars. We try to get about three quarts of, of eggs per jar. Um, there's roughly 120,000 eggs per quart. Once they're positioned on the jar battery, which is a contraption that has continuous water flow to each jar, um, they're pretty much good to go until they get back to the hatchery in Sakana. This time of year we're working uh, with our walleye, uh, hatching walleye eggs. The eggs come from Brookville Reservoir. Eggs when they come back are just a real bright yellow colored, kind of a golden color, they're really pretty. As they age, as they mature, they begin eyeing, what we call eyeing up. And that's when you start seeing the eyes of the, or the, of the individual fish inside of the egg. And that turns the eggs kind of, it goes through kind of a greenish state. And then by the time they're ready to hatch, the eggs are black, basically, or they look black. And once the eggs come back, uh, we treat them and then put them on the, put them on the jar battery. And then every day for, until they're 10 days old, we treat them with hydrogen peroxide to try and, and eliminate any fungus that may be on the eggs. We uh, remove uh, any eggs that aren't viable from the jars as, as well as we can. Once hatching starts, then we funnel the eggs into one of uh, four of our linear tanks. Those tanks then, each day, the, the, uh, we funnel into a different tank. So by the end of, end of four days, we have eggs or fry that are four days old and some that have just hatched. Eggs, when they first hatch, uh, are, the, are the, the fry at that stage are what we really call larval fry because they're not fully developed. They, uh, they have a tail, which they wiggle, and that helps swim, swim them up in the, out of the jar. But at that stage, uh, while we keep them for four days, 
is because they've got a yolk sac, uh, very much like a chicken's egg yolk, it's just full of nutrients. They use those nutrients to further develop. When they first hatch, they don't have all their body parts. They, their fins aren't fully developed. Um, they couldn't eat anything. They don't have their full mouth parts, nor their, nor their digestive tract. By the time they've, they've what we call buttoned up, they've used that oak yolk sac, then they've got their mouth parts, their digestive tract, their fins, their little tiny fish are really fry at that stage and they need to eat things. Uh, that's when we want to stock them out. When we uh, go to stock the fry, we dip them out with a, a special dip net and we enumerate them. We use beakers, uh, usually 500 milliliter beakers, and hold that up to the light because the fry will, when you hold it up to a, a bright light, they'll kind of sink down in, the, in that beaker. And we can read how many milliliters of fry there are in that beaker. And we then multiply that by the number of fry we have established per milliliter over the years and that determines how many we have. Uh, we try and stock about a, a hundred thousand per box. Now, as we still, we don't put them in a, in a fish tank. We put them in bags like you get when you get fish for your aquarium at the store, you get a little plastic bag with the fish in it. Our bags are a little bigger. We only put about uh, four or five gallons of water in each bag. And we put the fry in there. And then uh, we try and evacuate most of the air out of that bag just by kind of squeezing it like we, you would a Ziploc bag at home. And then we fill the bag with pure oxygen and tie it off good so it, uh, so it won't leak. We put the bag in, in boxes, cover or close the boxes so the sunlight doesn't get to them. And then we can haul them. We can usually keep fry in boxes like that for 10 or 12 hours if we have to. So we're, uh, we've already hatched a lot of eggs. Uh, we took 35 million total. Uh, we hope to get uh, 20 to 25 million fry out of those and we'll stock them then throughout the state. The main benefit is for the anglers. Um, walleye fishing is a very popular uh, pastime. It's a high quality eating fish. It's a fun fish to catch. Um, so our main goal is to provide walleye for anglers to catch.